gamma rays can be used in the irradiation of food. These here are fresh strawberries that have not been irradiated using gamma radiation. So after five days, they're gonna go rotten. That is because the bacteria have not been killed using irradiation methods. So the bacteria are then going to decompose the fruit more quickly. So this is what happens if there is no irradiation using gamma sources. However, in this example, if you use gamma radiation to irradiate the food, you're going to kill the bacteria. Gamma radiation is going to kill the bacteria without damaging the food. Gamma radiation is going to kill the bacteria without damaging the food. So five days later, you're more likely to have fruit that is not decomposed by the bacteria. This is because the gamma rays will kill the bacteria on the fruit. So the advantages of using gamma radiation in the irradiation of food is that food can be stored for longer. Therefore, there is less food wasted. Remember, it does not make the food more radioactive. The food has not been contaminated. Gamma radiation can also be used to sterilize medical equipment. So what you can do is you can seal medical equipment in a bag and use gamma radiation to destroy the pathogens on the equipment. So if you use heat on some medical equipment, too much heat can damage the equipment. So gamma radiation will not damage the medical equipment. So that's the reason why you do not use heat to sterilize fruit. That's because using heat on fruit would cook the fruit and damage it. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what I'm drawing here is an underground water pipe. This is the pipe with a hole in it, and it is beneath the ground, which I'm drawing now. So water is going to leak from the pipe. This is what I'm showing here. Water is leaking from the pipe. So how would you use gamma radiation to identify where the leak is? So a gamma source is then added to the water. So the gamma source is known as a tracer. So because you've added a gamma source to the water, you're going to find the radioactive isotopes in the water inside the pipe. Where there is no leak, the tracer in the water is going to just continue flowing. It's not going to collect where there is no leak. However, where there is a leak, the water is going to be collecting in the soil below the ground. That means you're going to have increased radioactivity at this point. So if we then go further along the pipe where there is no leak, you're going to have gamma radiation that isn't being collected in one specific point. So that means that the radioactivity that is going to be emitted at these points is going to be lower than where there is a water leak itself. So the longer the water is leaking out of the pipe, the more gamma sources are collecting just below the ground. So someone's going to come along with a Geiger Muller tube and a counter to measure the count rate at the different points along the tube. At this point here, they're going to measure the count rate and they're going to find some radioactivity and they're going to move it along just above where the leak is, but they don't know that. So what's going to happen here is that the Geiger Muller tube in the counter is going to measure a higher activity. And then when they move along, they're going to see a lower count rate as they move along the water pipe. So when using the Geiger Muller tube in a counter, where there is the highest count rate, that is where the leak most likely is, because that's where the gamma source is collecting in the water. So they use gamma radiation because gamma radiation is going to be able to penetrate the ground and the pipe and the water to the Geiger Muller tube. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
but they do not use alpha or beta particles as the tracer. But they do not use alpha or beta particles as the tracer. So the gamma source is known as a tracer. So alpha and beta particles are not used as tracers for this purpose. This is because alpha particles and beta particles can't penetrate the pipe and the ground to the surface where the person is going to be measuring the count rate. So alpha and beta particles are not used as tracers for this purpose. This is because alpha particles and beta particles can't penetrate the pipe and the ground to the surface. So if they did use alpha or beta radiation, the person wouldn't be able to detect the alpha or beta particles as seen here. That is why gamma radiation is used as a tracer to find water leaks. And the gamma radiation must have a really low half-life. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.